Shalom, shalom. Karibu ni sana to today's broadcast. My name is John Mwangi. I'd like to invite you. Welcome you all to like, subscribe, and follow Slice of Today's social media platforms. That is Slice of Today in Facebook, YouTube, Telegram, and Twitter. Slice underscore of today in Instagram. At the end of this broadcast, you shall see an invitation from my brother for you to be added to Slice of Today WhatsApp group. You can also download Slice of Today app from Google Play Store or subscribe your email to Slice of Today WordPress post. As long as it's today, you shall be getting content. Now we are in a periodic days of prayer, corporate prayer, fasting, 6 to 6. Join my brother daily for the portion, the bread of life. I always like to quote this portion of scripture. The Bible says, Jesus responding to Satan in one of his temptations. Actually, it is the first temptation in all accounts of the gospel that the devil tempted him. If you are the son of God, turn this stone into bread jesus responded by saying that man shall not live by bread alone but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of the lord i was listening this week pastor mark motida is doing the lunch hours in the apostolic house like church the apostolic house and one of the things that he's actually covering here but when you read scriptures when you read the word of god the 66 books grace is deposited in your life the Bible, grace is actually deposited in your life. It's not exclusively when a servant of God is preaching about grace. But anytime you read the word of God, grace is actually being deposited in your life. In the same one manner, when you read the word of God, you will get a deposit of faith. When you read the word of God, you will get the bread, the bread of life. When you read the word of God, you are partaking of Hand on waters where the Bible Jesus speaking to the Samaritan woman come one here. When you take this water that I am in a position to give, you will fast no longer. This means Yakwamba, everything that can cause you thirsty in life, be it career wise, be it in regards to your family, be it in regards to your nation, be it in regards to actually you are you are yourself, yourself, your wants, your needs. When you partake this water. You will thirst no longer. You will never go to look for something else to quench your thirst. Let us pray. In Jesus' mighty name, Heavenly Father, we thank you for yet another opportunity to hear your word. Thank you because your word is active and alive, sharper than any double edged sword. We receive your word today with thanksgiving. We shall exercise your word. Thank you because our lives are fertile ground. It shall find room in us. It shall find a conducive place in us where it shall mature 30, 60, and 100 folds. We shall mix your word in faith, with faith. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. In pursuit. Uh, I would like to disclose the Akwamba yesterday during our family devotion. It was actually my man who was sharing. That she shared from this portion of scripture which we shall be reading and we shall derive a few lessons from it and call it a close. The Bible says in the book of 2 Kings chapter number 5, 2 Kings chapter number 5, Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great man with his master and in high favor because by him the Lord had given victory to Syria. Naaman, commander of the army of the king of Syria, was a great man. So a member in an army, he is it those who are king bringing food to those in the army, he is it a tender of the field, like Amos, and I think he was a tender of vines, vineyards, or something, sycamore trees, he is it a farmer, he is it a pottery keeper, but he is a great man, the Bible continues to say, with his master and in his favor, because by him, the Lord had given victory to Syria. So this, this is actually uh, a CV that we're being given of this servant. Madiga Nedelena Kusaba Yakwamba, he was a mighty man of Bela, but he was a leper. But he was a leper. He has such uh, high esteem in the society. There is so much we can say about him, like he did. The, the, the verses, verses number one is called to be 
kuna kitu ambayo walikuanga nayo which was had leprosy the leprosy especially in the old testament it wasn't a small thing it was like having hiv in the early 2000s it was a, it was a serious thing na kumbuka nikiwa in my lower primary school i think i was in class 6 some people had come in session here kama guidance and counseling and they were actually telling us of the misconceptions about HIV. So I got to I actually used to dread that thing. I got to Tanzania when you share a cup with somebody who has HIV you can't contract it. When you shake their hands you can't contract it. When you share your HIV you are effects begin a pain in class and not working class you can't affect it. It's only through blood transfusion. It's only through sexual intercourse. It's only through when you are blood comes into contact to with maybe a, a, a skin that has been cut in your on your side on your body so they were trying to 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 to, to break this misconception that was loud in the society so this gentleman he has so much that can be said about him lakini jambo la mwisho ni kwamba he had leprosy the bible continues to say now the Syrians on one of their raids had carried off a little girl from the land of Israel and she worked in the service of Naaman's wife she said to her mistress will that my lord were with the prophet who is in Samaria he will cure him of his leprosy so Naaman went in and told his lord thus and so spoke the girl from the land of Israel and the king of Syria said go now I will send a letter to the king of Israel. So he went taking with him 10 talents of silver, 6000 shekels of gold and 10 changes of cloth. Then he brought the letter to the king of Israel which read when this when this letter reaches you know that I have sent you Naaman my servant that you may cure him of his leprosy. And when the king of Israel read the letter he told his troops and said, "Ah, am I God to kill and to make a lie?" Sorry that this man said what to me to cure a man of his leprosy only consider and see how he is a coral with me this is the story about nama one person that we are seeing in his pursuit what is he pursuing is pursuing life so he is proceeding with everything he is let's say if i can call it his age to fight so he's a member of the army so he did a kind of class when the attack etc etc number two what is he pursuing is pursuing a cure for his pain he's pursuing an answer to a question that he has he's pursuing a remedy to a problem that he has and who does he come across in this pursuit number one he is subject to a master subject to a master we all know how the story ends so these are things that we need to check in our life is there somebody that we are actually under their command i love the centurion we always love to quote to the centurion your papa he told christ i am a man under authority and then he continues to say that when i speak to one servant he goes when i call when i beg on he comes so this commander in the army of syria one thing that we have spotted in yakwamba he is not an ordinary man he's not he's not he's not a, a, a castaway he's not a refugee he's not jamadu ambaye kwa kwa maisha tu anajaribu to survive he's not the four lepers who are at the gate in the camp where the bible says they had leprosy so they were not needed in the city and they were dying of heart was a high decorated soldier you can allow me to use that word so we are getting clearly for this portion of scripture in yakwamba number one he had somebody who was subject to him such that when a cure was actually found his master wrote a recommendation letter his master wrote a letter for him to gain access to the palace praise to god the story of the story of nehemiah would not have been complete if he was not friends to the king <laughs> if he was not friends to the king for the king to notice that he is sad in excess that's why he asked him why is your why, why, why is your face downcast if i can use that term for god the exact word it's an interesting one 
So anamuliza, ai, ai, sijai kuona ukiwa vila moral, kwa nini nini imefanyika? He was afraid to him, such that he can even ask if I have found favor. Allow me to go back to my home village because I have heard ya kwamba the gates of my city have been destroyed. The walls of my city have been destroyed. He had somebody in a higher office than him that could make even his request to have speed. Number one, Naman had a commander who gave him a recommendation letter, gave him permission, gave him an off to go to the king in Israel and make his request. Number two, number two, very important for us to note in Yakwamba, there are always people in our lives. While above, when we look at them in face value, they cannot add anything in our lives. Naman had a slave girl, a slave girl to his wife. So when you actually look at her standing in society, if everybody else is speaking, the best she can do is give them water for them to continue to speak. She cannot participate in any conversation. We need at family level, even let it not even be hard at maybe the office level of even before, before the, the presence of the king. There are always these people in our pursuit in life. Praise be to God. I would like us to take time and even think how it applies in our current context. Kuna mwalimu wapai pengine amefunza miaka 25. Alafu wa form 1 is coming to that school who is less than half the teacher's age. Lakini that student can speak something, can recommend something to his master which will save that teacher and maybe add something to their lives. A testimony is told by Reverend Julia Chula of one time he actually was giving this testimony of how he got to excel in life. So he got, I don't know what they call it in, in the corporate world, I think it is like the, the three minutes uh, in the elevator, something or that sort. So in the yeah, elevator, you have to make your pitch by the time that elevator reaches to the floor where you are, maybe your CEO is going. So he had that moment once and he pitched something to his CEO. He spoke to him something and he, the CEO was like, wow, this is quite interesting. And a few hours later, I don't know whether it's a few hours, even in the day or in that week, he receives a call from HQ. I, I think they were in a top floor or something. I asked him to come to my office. And then he was told, So we have such people in our lives. Our lives has three categories of people. There are people who are below us. There are people who are at par with us. And there are always people who have gone ahead of us. You are not the richest person in your circle. You are not the richest person in that labor. You are not the most wise in that committee. But it is important for us to note and to consider and let this realization sober us. Ya kwamba kuna yule ambaye ako chini sana, lakini kuna kile ambacho aneza tamka. And it will save us a great deal. When you come to think about the 12 apostles, among them there was a tax collector. So if you can look at him, even in our 21st century context in Kenya, that is somebody in the society who is doing well. He's not struggling. Maybe he has a car. Maybe he has a bungalow somewhere. Maybe he has free bank accounts. Lakini bado among the 12, Maniko in Asema, there was one, there were a couple who were uneducated. <laughs> they were basic fishermen. Praise be to God. So, number two, it is that there was a slave girl. We, in our pursuit in life, be it professional wise, be it family wise, be it business wise, be it climbing the ladders or the stairs in life, there is always somebody who can tell you something like it is a slave. Thank you, Holy Spirit.
my mom loves this portion of scripture. You allow me to share it. She loves it. It's one of the things that actually informs her ministry. One time we all know this story of Moab, this scripture that says that David encouraged himself in the Lord. What is this? It was after he had come from raiding a certain community and they had victory. Like the Bible says that his army men wanted to stone him. And David encouraged himself in the Lord. I love God told him, pursue. When they pursued, something interesting happened. The Bible says they met a man who had been deserted because he was terminally ill. That he had not eaten, I think it is for two days. But David and Samaya Kwamba, David and Elisha, David and Kabuliza, where were they not? akasema mimi nilikwanga na ile ami yenye ilikuwa kekanyara lakini walinitupa kwa sababu nilikuwa karibu kukufa na sijakula David fed this man and this man is the one who told the army of David where the captives have gone praise so you actually come to think about it David would have said I am pursuing important things I don't have time for you I am going for a very important mission. Maybe when I come back, I can hear your case. Lakini, he first attended to him. And the Bible says, he went taking with him ten ahead. Eight. But when Elisha, the man of God, heard that the king of Israel had torn his clothes, he went to the king, saying, Why have you torn your clothes? Let him come now to me, that he may know that there is a prophet in Israel. So Naaman came to his his horses and chariots and stood at the door of Elisha's house. Number three, the person that we come across in our pursuits in life is that we come across people who mistake us, people who receive our information wrongly. We come across people who misjudge us. Because this is Naman going to the king in Israel. I love the king is like, ah, that's all I want to be let on to Mosi, and I take a two sababu, Yakukuja, Vita, and Amin. Many other times, maybe you will go to a certain office, and it's the wrong address. And when you are speaking to that person, he is busy bashing you with words, he's busy insulting you. I love Kido, you don't even realize that's not actually where you are going. There are people who will receive your letter. I love you, they will even shred it. Like he little did they know it was not actually addressed to them. It wasn't even supposed to, see, to, to meet their eyes. I remember one time I went to, I was looking for an internship and I went to a certain organization, it's, it's a prestigious one in my rating. And Nikifika took a gate. I'm like, would you allow me to go and see the secretary? And I didn't reason why I'm going to and I was like, uh, I want to look for an, uh, an internship here. When I said, I'm like, my goodness, I'm not intending to be a watchman. I just want to go to the office to drop my CV. If it's accepted, well and good. If it's denied, I'll just go back with it. And then he's like, I won't allow him in. I was getting worked up and then I, 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 it dawned on me, Yakuaba is actually higher than me in regards to what we are actually talking about doesn't give me access to the building what can I do I can't sue him I can't bypass him he can actually even maybe shoot me dead I'm a ideas guy as ever I'm trespassing or something but look at the, 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 the reality of it it would if it was the, the, the secretary you would have understood like it, this is at the very gate I just take up a corridor yeah and I'm like wow this is quite interesting so the third person that will come across in our pursuit in life are people who will misunderstand us. People who the letter was never addressed to them. Like in the shock on us, Yakuaba, to land on their table. And Elisha sent a messenger to him saying, Go and wash in the Jordan seven times, and your flesh shall be restored, and you shall be. But Naaman was angry and went away saying, Behold, I thought that he would surely come out to me and stand and call upon 
and call upon the name of the Lord his God and wave his hand over the place and cure the leper. And not Abana and Papha, the rivers of Damascus, better than all the waters of Israel. Could I not wash in them and be clean? So he returned and went away in a rage. But his servants came near and said to him, My father, it is a great word that the prophet has spoken to you. Will you not do it? He has actually said to you, Wash and be clean. So he went down and dipped himself seven times in the Jordan according to the word of the man of the God of God. And his flesh was restored like the flesh of a little child and he was clean. The fourth category of people that we will come across me, wale ambao wako around us, our circles. Uh, if you am if, if one of my viewers, maybe is a spiritual father or somebody who has people submitted under them, these people are with us when we are pursuing whatever we are pursuing. Be it a vision that we are fulfilling, be it a call that we are answering to, they submit under us. You will notice Yakwamba, Elisha, the servant of God, sent his messenger. You will realize Yakwamba, Naaman had his messengers with him. <laughs> so it is Gehazi giving the message to the servant of God. Naaman receiving the message, and as he's going back in his, when he's going back fuming, it is his servants who sober him up. Who try to negotiate with him on a mabia, eh, eh, nah. master, eh, who gave tissue, the baby is a no food, who get letter, who gave tissue, simo, and let, who get letter. Like it, what did he, I'm a boy to find a kid to rise his hand, and I told you, he's a marasaba, and I'm a poor sour. So it is actually his sour, his subordinates who, who talked him down, who talked him. Now, praise the So the fourth category of people is that we will come across or we will actually at one point in our lives need people who are around us, our subjects, those who have submitted under us, those who are our sons and daughters in ministry, to give us actually I, I had this like India testimony is shared of a certain gentleman who was a distributor of the soda coca-cola the soft drinks so I think he had a pickup or, or a truck so and as a fish and as a fish I used to do it I think it is in Tanzania it is in Kenya so and as a fish across the border coast so and as a fish and in, 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 in. so one time he has a running with the police officers so I like a man I was I can't remember even what the issue was. And then he was in a fix. I think he was going to sell or something. And it so happens that he had a friend in the city that he was actually going, a shopkeeper. The say to the people of Belekia, so that you are sharing trust with people, I share, but I share to Moshe Ben, to be a man of a city of Yaku. So the people of Buddhism, I, the Ashara Lawikwaje. They're just talking anything. It's not, it's not, it's not at the business or something. They're just making fun. They are just being friends. So this time when he is in this state with this police officer, he just thought. Just thought, like I said, man, let me just call this Jama of mine and I tell him what has happened. So remember, he is a shop So he calls him and I'm going to be at such and such a place, maybe she's going to be a sky. Nah, it's not looking so good. So the shopkeeper tells him, 
actually kuna kitu sijawahi kuambia he tells him that my immediate cousin is actually a, a commander in a, a certain region so let me do this let's hang up i'll call him and then i'll bail you out long story short that's actually what happened and this gentleman this distributor of coca cola was actually sharing this alaf wanasema when you come to think about it it beats on ya kwamba it's not his supervisors long along that chain of command that bailed him out but it is one of his clients and he's actually a shop i hope this one has challenged you i hope it has encouraged you and i hope it has taught you something in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen shalom until next time